Thanks for joining us. The White House push to temporarily ban travelers from seven Muslim-majority countries may be headed to the Supreme Court. A three-judge panel ruled unanimously tonight that the ban that was halted last week should not be restarted while the courts figure out if it's legal. President Donald Trump took to Twitter shortly after the ruling. He wrote, see you in court. The security of our nation is at stake. WCCO's John Lawrenson has more on Minnesota's role in the court fight and what's next. The ban itself from the beginning was wrong, in my opinion. When Minnesota joined Washington to sue to lift the travel ban, Abdesalam Adam was holding out hope it would mark the beginning of the end of President Trump's executive order. An imam at Dar al Hishra Mosque in Minneapolis. He says he personally knows families that were affected. Everybody's feeling relief, sense of relief and joy that the American system is, is uh, really working and this is the, the way that this is the America that we know. After the ruling, Attorney General Lori Swanson released affidavits that she says show how a number of Minnesota institutions have been impacted, including the Board of Medical Practice, which has licensed 275 physicians from the seven countries identified in the ban. The Trump administration, once this is actually argued out, is probably going to lose. Hamlin Law Professor David Schultz believes President Trump would lose if he now took his argument to the Supreme Court. It look like the Trump administration has a lot of wiggle room at this point. The Ninth Circuit is a very liberal court. They're the most frequently reversed circuit court in the country. Keith Downey is chair of the Minnesota Republican Party. He believes the ban will keep Americans safe, and he thinks the president will win out in the end. Well, everybody, including our immigrant and refugee communities, have a vested interest in making sure uh, that people coming into this country are fully vetted. They're hurt, too, when terrorists slip in. David Schultz says the reason he doesn't think the Trump administration will win if they went to the Supreme Court is because they would need five votes, and they likely only have four right now. Again, the president has said he will fight today's decision in court. It just remains to be seen what court that will be, Liz. All right, John. We'll watch it. Thank you.